And welcome back to News On. Uh, you just heard Secretary Mayorka say that the border is no less secure than it was under the Trump administration, but that is not what immigrants who are trying to flee these countries are telling our very own Ben Berkwam, as you just heard as he spoke live at the border just moments ago. Just take a listen at what he told us specifically, though, yesterday. The so-called Haitians that we have encamped under the bridge over there, the vast majority are not from Haiti recently. They're from Chile. And within just a few minutes of searching the grounds here, I found dozens of IDs from Chile. These are people that were granted refugee status in Chile. Uh, they, they've created new lives. They've been there for years. They've had children there. And now they're moving up. And we've interviewed them and asked them why they're coming now. And the, the, every single one without question has said they were afraid. Uh, under President Trump that they wouldn't be allowed in. Now they believe under Joe Biden that they will be allowed in. That they will be allowed in, again, under the Biden administration. Joining us live now, uh, retired Army Ranger and Democratic mayoral candidate for Tucker, Georgia. Joining us on the left, Robin Biro and CEO and founder of Stock Swoosh, Melissa Armo, joining us on the right. Uh, very differing opinions. Uh, this story all over the place. You've got Democrats upset. You've got Republicans upset for very different reasons. You have Mayorkas saying, hey, nothing's, nothing to see here. It's no different than it was under the Trump administration. But again, we have Ben Berkwam on the ground with migrants flat out telling him we're going because President Joe Biden's in office. Never mind the conflicting information about how many Haitians are here, how many are not here. But Robin, why? Is there so much conflicting information out there? Oh gosh, it's it's the age that we live in, Miranda, and I can't stand it. And I'm grateful to honest journalists like yourself who report the news. We need more <laughs> of that. Uh, so often the news has just become entertainment, but people tune into your show because they actually get real news. And I appreciate the fact that you bring in that bipartisan panel. Can we not get more of that in the news today? That's what we need. The problem right now is that <laughs> Uh, there's also different politi political ideologies, as you alluded to. Democrats are mad about this, the treatment of Haitians, uh, because they're being mistreated, um, and it's bad. I've got a statement right here from my county party chairman that's damning, that says that, that they're being mistreated at the border, uh, and it's, it, it's anti-black racism. <laughs> so, you know, it's as clear as day to, to Democrats, and it's, it's a problem, Miranda. Is it really clear as day, though? I'm going to go into that in just a moment, but I want to talk about the numbers that we mentioned earlier. So DHS confirming that they, that there are Haitian immigrants here illegally uh, that are being allowed to enter the U.S., that are given court dates and when to return. We're hearing that predominantly men are the ones that are being sent back, but that women, especially accompanied with children, are being allowed to stay. Very differing opinions on what we're hearing, but we're still not being given definitive answers as to how many are staying here. Melissa, why do you think that is? I think we have a huge, huge problem at the border. and We're not getting accurate information just like we didn't get accurate information about Afghanistan. So no one should be surprised. It's one crisis after another with this administration. And if Maxine Waters and the Democrats and AOC are upset about the treatment, guess what? They have no one but their own party to blame because the Democrats are in the White House. They're in Congress, they're in charge, so fix the problem if you're upset about it. As far as what's happening with Mayorkas, he blamed Trump in an interview with Chuck Todd back in March and said President Trump dismantled the system and they were gonna rebuild the immigration system. That's exactly what he said on March 21st. Not only have they not rebuilt the system, they've actually completely botched the system now. They invited people to come over. President Biden last year when he was running for election said people could come on over and that's exactly what they've done and now you have the cartels involved where really i'm sure they're ransoming people where they're making them pay money to get over safely you know that's happening and they're not covering it whether they're letting women or children or men stay here we're in the middle of COVID still we have to get vaccines i can't go and get a hamburger in new york without a vaccine passport but people are coming in over the border and they're not even testing them and they're allowing them in with COVID. and god knows what else what is going on here it seems like if you live here and you're a citizen you have less freedoms than if you come in here as an immigrant i think a lot of people uh, share that sentiment although there again there's been conflicting information from 
people who say that they are being tested, others saying that they're not being tested. Uh, all we know is that what we're being told, what border agents are telling our very own correspondents on the ground is that not all of them are being tested. But I want to go back to a point that you brought up, Robin, and talking about Democrats, um, you know, criticizing the Biden administration for the treatment of some of these Haitian migrants that are crossing the border. As I mentioned earlier, the, the envoy uh, resigning effectively today. Here is Representative Maxine Waters saying that the treatment of Haitian, uh, you know, asylum seekers is far worse than she says slavery and calling out not the Trump administration, but the Biden administration for Border Patrol agents handling of Haitian migrants accused of whipping them. Here's specifically what she had to say. What we witness takes us back hundreds of years. What we witnessed was worse than what we witnessed in slavery. Cowboys with their reins again whipping black people. So obviously there has been much debate about this issue and this is not going away. Uh, Real Drew, Drew Hernandez, Real America's voice Drew Hernandez, uh, who's covered the border extensively, just like our very own Ben Berkwam, uh, has a very differing opinion uh, on what he has been seeing and is echoing the sentiment of what Border Patrol agents are telling him. Here's what he had to tell us the other day here on News On. News like this, they're mistaking horse reins for whips, and they're trying to actually paint this narrative over the Border Patrol agents. This, this, this is, it's, it's irresponsible, it's immature. I don't understand why people are trying to smear Border Patrol agents like this. So uh, going back to what you said, Robin, now you believe this is mistreatment, but a lot of Border Patrol agents are arguing, no, we're on mounted horses, we're not whipping them, um, we are merely doing our job, and that people are, yeah, the images may not look the best, but that is not, in fact, what they're doing, that they're trying to protect our borders. So which is it? Well, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to denigrate the good men and women of Border Patrol uh, because they do keep us safe. Uh, I just I think it's worth scrutiny. I received this statement yesterday from my county party chairman. That I'm going to read. And I don't normally read things on air, but this is from Chairman John Jackson. He says, Democrats, it's OK to criticize the Biden administration on how Haitians are being treated at the border. If you are silent about this, but loud about mistreatment of non-black immigrants, it speaks volumes about you. So I think that I'm glad actually to see uh, some of my own party criticizing the Biden administration because Border Patrol serves at their discretion right now. Uh, so it, this is a problem for the Biden administration, my party. But let me ask you just flat out, Robin, are they mistreating them in your opinion? I'm not there. I, I really, that's- So you don't know, but you're me. applauding. I'm not and there. fairness though, and a fairness though, you're applauding Democrats, members of your own party, for calling out the Biden administration for something that you don't even know for a fact is true. Maybe I should head to the border and see with my own eyes, Miranda. The video that you showed didn't look particularly great. I mean, if it's if it's still a whip with a ring on it, I don't, I don't think that's all that great. Um, but you know, they've got to do their job somehow. I don't. It's far far be it for me to determine how best to secure our borders. Uh, last word to you, Melissa, on this topic. Thirty seconds. Well, well. Former President Trump had an idea to secure the border that was build the wall. They started it and then the Biden administration stopped it. So that's an idea right there. I don't condone how they're handling this. Again, I don't know if they're doing this with a lot of people or it was a once over. But I'll tell you, Maxine Waters comparing this to slavery. She needs to pick up a history book. She needs to go back in time. 250 years ago when there was slavery, they were branding people for certain plantations. Uh, people were whipped, uh, really, really, uh, like seriously whipped. People died. Slavery is, this is, to compare this to slavery, she needs to pick up a history book because this is a bad comparison, similar to how they were comparing 9-11 to January 6th. That was a bad comparison, too. They, they want these graphic images out there because they want people to argue and fight all the time. Don't they want people in the country to get along? Don't they want to improve the country? What's going on here? Why are they always pitting whites against blacks? I've, I've had enough of it, quite frankly. I'd love to know our viewers' thoughts on this. You can always chime in by finding me at Real Miranda Con. Hashtag share your voice. We're going to ask our bipartisan panel to stick around because we're going to talk about your money, specifically how it's being spent when we return.